wrote about my great-grandpa, Stanley Dugan, who served in the U.S. Army during World War II. He lived in Brooklyn, New York, and was my mom's great, or was my mom's grandfather, my pap's father. He got married and had five kids after the war. He was a noble so soldier for his entire time in the Army and is the definition of pride in the U.S. Before World War II, he was a merchant marine. Merchant marines are not part of the military. After the bombing, bombing of Pearl Harbor by Japan, he was called upon to serve in the Army. He was trained in Tennessee, where he became an Ar Army Air Corps engineer. His next stop was Europe in 1942, where he built and laid steel mats for the American planes to land and take off. Most of the planes that landed on those mats were called B-17 bombers and P-47 fighter planes. At the time, the Allies were losing the war. In 1943, he went to a place called Malta in North Africa to fight before he went back to England to prepare for June 6, 1944, a.k.a. V-Day. My great-grandfather was a sergeant when he participated in the invasion. Following the events of D-Day, he was sent to the Ardennes Forest where Germany was making one final stand. At the end of 1945, when the war ended, the Allied Army pushed all the way into Germany. Along the way, though, he and his fellow soldiers experienced one of the most horrifying things ever, German concentration camps. Here, the Nazis executed not only Jewish pe people, but political prisoners and other ethnic ethnicities that Hitler deemed inferior. In 1945, Japan surrendered after the destruction of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. If Japan never surrendered, he would have been sent there next. According to my great uncle, my great grandfather never spoke of his time in the service or experiences in the war. He believes that it was just far too great a trauma for him to talk about. I never got to meet my great grandfather. The information in this essay was given by my great uncle Joe, his son. But I really wish I could have met him, and this essay is a tribute to him.